guys, welcome back to another unboxing of the Tales of Grayskull Slaker, Faker, whichever way you want to call it. This is the second release of the Builder figure as well, the Metal Botto. I actually love the way this style is actually coming out with all like the little bits and bobs as well because it, on the back it's got the bigger card art on the back there and you've got them with uh, Skeletor and also Shredder but he's actually in front of the slime pit or actually being slimed as well with the builder figure of Metal Botto this one comes with the head and also the um, the waist and the top of the legs as well with this set so let's crack them open and get a little closer look he does come with that little card it's not a little comic book or anything but he's just there on the front on the back if, um, if, if this was like from America it would have all like the stats and stuff but as this isn't it just has his Slaker name written on the back of it instead now just getting this guy out of the box he is absolutely huge compared to the other turtles if I just bring in Wrath you can see the actual height difference on this he's like he only comes up to his shoulders he's head above the rest <laughs> I think he's all modular so yeah his head pops off arms waist and his feet will pop off as well he's got all the usual articulation head will bobble up and down arms 360 ball joint on the elbow it's got the wrist pivot as well twist at the waist legs back and forth also splay out elbow it uh, he's got the knee joint twist at the boot cuff and the pivot on the feet as well real nice bold colours on them the actual um, headband that'll twist right the way round as well so good for like photographic type of art if that's what you're into his teeth big gnarly teeth going on there as well and then I think all of these shoulders these shoulder pads will slide off they, they are pretty tight on there but they will slide off in a push now he comes with a massive massive turtle um, shell so he's got two little peggies on the back where it would just slot right in It's quite funky as well because it's all like pearlized type of purple. On the front you can just see that like a track type of decal sticker underneath just like faker as well. Now he comes with two weapons, identical weapons, so that's all like with the knives sticking out of it because he's got two gripper hands. And there he is with them holding them in there I mean I just can't get over the actual size of this guy I think I know uh, when Krang, I haven't got Krang yet but when, he, when I do end up getting him hopefully we'll end up seeing him over there I've not seen him on sale anywhere yet only pre-orders, pre-orders, pre-orders um, but literally nothing on shelves or anything but I reckon uh, isn't Krang supposed to be even taller with that centerpiece that goes in? Oh, an absolute cracking addition to the set. If I just pop them up on the shelf behind me, you will see how big he is compared to the rest. Now the other little metal botto attachments, like say it's the waist and the legs 
and also his little head with a little visor as well which will end up clicking up and down can't wait to get the rest of the stuff uh, I believe the next set is Splinter Skull which hopefully I will get that video online for you probably straight after this one tomorrow so stay in tune for that one but drop us the comments guys what do you think of this line are you going all in on the builder set type of figures the build collect and build ones let me know your thoughts in the comments box and while you're there do the usual with the like subscribe tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others it is cracking the flags out there today so I am off in the back have a little brewskis put me feet up and I will see you on the next take care guys